During some of the darkest days of the Cold War, John Marx had a vision that there had to be a better way to achieve a just and peaceful world. He understood that while conflict is an inevitable part of the human condition, violence is not. He saw the possibility of a win-win, non-adversarial world, and he founded Search for Common Ground to achieve it. Let me tell you a little about John, who has not always been a peacemaker. He first worked as a foreign service officer, including a spell in Vietnam during our war there. He was, like so many others, disillusioned by what he saw, but he wasn't discouraged. I met John during his journalism career, and then I watched in awe when he switched from provocateur to peacemaker. He started Search for Common Ground in 1982 and has tackled many problems, but he's always aimed for the big prize. Our focus tonight is on yet another aspect in the extraordinary evolving relationship between the United States and the Soviet Union. If you find it difficult to believe that the CIA and the KGB may be on the verge of cooperating with one another in the near future, your instincts are probably right. Nevertheless, high-ranking former officials from both agencies have been meeting out in California this week at a conference sponsored by the RAND Corporation and an organization called Search for Common Ground. In 1993, John traveled to Cape Town to make a television series called South Africa Searches for Common Ground. After a day's work, he went out for a few beers with his South African producer, who asked John if he were married. I'm divorced, said John, but I'm looking. Looking for what, asked the producer. A tall, beautiful mediator, replied John. The producer said, I know her. And the next day, he introduced John to Susan Collin. Within 30 hours, they realized that this was it. There's something about um, a, a shared vision and a shared love going together. And for us, it was when we first met each other, is, it was that sense of, of the love that we felt for each other, of course, was just uh, overwhelming. Nine months later, they married and Susan moved to Washington, where she quickly established herself as John's partner in running Search for Common Ground and in transforming conflict around the world. What's unique about Susan is this ability to meet people and present herself in such a warm, open manner that you're inevitably drawn to her. She makes you respect her and you can trust her. And that trust is just so important going forward in her work and in her life. Susan's also a spiritual person and she brings that dimension to her work in negotiation, mediation, and peace building. We share a vision. We have something we can talk about incessantly. Um, we are able to do work that complements what the other person is doing. We're able to combine the characteristics of two people, which makes us a much more powerful individual and couple. No one has done more to advance the field of practical conflict resolution around the globe than John and Susan Marks. And they've done it with initiative and intelligence, with head and heart, with passion and persistence to advance the cause of peace. John and Susan believe that the genius of search lies in the committed, gifted colleagues who share their vision. And the right people always appeared when the organization started opening field offices in such places as Macedonia, Burundi, and Angola, and when it launched a major initiative to improve relations between the U.S. and Iran. Here, for the first time, uh, I experience a kind of atmosphere, a kind of spirit uh, in a conference, uh, in a gathering, which permits people to uh, open themselves up without reservation uh, and uh, speak out of their heart. So what do two presidents in Washington and Tehran do when they want better relations but are afraid the effort could blow up in their face? Well, they move carefully. And they turn not necessarily to diplomats, but rather to private individuals who hold no official position. At this week's conference, Iranian and American diplomats spoke in generalities. But it is someone like John Marks who is actually doing something. 
Marks organized a visit of American wrestlers to Iran in February. It was the first time the American flag had been displayed there since 1979. When the wrestlers returned to the U.S., President Clinton invited them and searched for common ground to the White House in order to signal to the Iranians that he wanted to improve relations. Today, SEARCH has grown into the world's largest conflict prevention organization, with offices in 34 countries and a staff of 560. Its largest program, which Susan started 13 years ago, is in the Congo. This is a countrywide effort to build peace and prevent sexual violence. It includes retraining tens of thousands of soldiers and police. We see the media as a really important and profound tool for working in conflict areas. For one thing, you reach a huge amount of people. And so we see it as a way of putting the spotlight on the uh, approaches to peace building that normally people get through dialogues or through a workshop, but then you're, you're, you're reaching 20 or 30 or 40 people. With the media, you can reach um, um, millions of people. Movies and TV around the world are saturated with images of violence and horror. But is it possible to use pop culture in a different way to promote peace and understanding across a country? It's for a new soap opera series that's taking on one of the most serious issues for Kenyans today, the hatred and violence that arise from tribal divisions. John Marks is the visionary behind the soap opera, The Team. Call it soap opera for social change. The key to peace is to be the peace we want to see in the world. And this is how we do it, by everything we think and say and do. So the answer to the question, what can I do, is such a simple one, is to live that peace every day in whatever our circle is of our lives. And in that way, we truly do contribute to peace. So given that peace is really about walking each other home in a peaceful way, about caring and compassion for ourselves, each other, and the planet, let's do it together. <laughs>